All right, y'all, back at you. Today, uh, gonna be talking about my van again. Um, more specifically, why we chose to, you know, we converted this van uh, somewhat to a camper, from a passenger van to a camper, or a camper-passenger van kind of combo. But uh, I'm gonna, I wanna talk about some of the reasons why we chose to start with a passenger van versus a you know, a cargo, more of a blank slate, a, uh, like a cargo van, cargo van model, I guess. Um, and really, I guess it has to do with your end use. Like I said, ours is kind of a camper, but it's also more of a road trip vehicle for us than a camper. We do camp in it, but we use it more just for road trips and uh, usually get to our destination in one day or, you know, rent a house or something along the way. But anyways, um, you know, um, right off the bat, uh, you know, we ended up with this Ford because at the time, I, we bought this in 2016 or 2017 used, and uh, we wanted to start with a, with a passenger van um, for a couple reasons. I'll go into those uh, in a minute, but uh, we ended up with the Ford because at the time, the uh, Dodge, their ProMaster, I think only came in a cargo van uh, model. And I actually kind of like the Dodge ProMaster, but, uh, like I said, I can only get a cargo van. And then the uh, Mercedes Sprinter, I just can't afford. So that's why we ended up with the with the Ford here. But, uh, you know, first off the bat, um, one of the main reasons why we started, we wanted to start with the passenger van versus a cargo van model is the windows. You can see we have all these great windows all the way around the van. And you know, if you start with a cargo van, I know you can add windows, and I think now you can probably have them added on as an option um, in the newer models, but, uh, you know, that costs extra. And this one, this one just came with all the windows we wanted, and you can see they're super dark already, and, you know, you can put curtains up and stuff to, you know, give yourself more privacy. But we did want all the windows. Um, so, like I said, we use this as a road trip vehicle. Um, so that's the first reason. The uh, second reason is, I'll show you, we have three kids and I wanted safe, um, I wanted them to be in, you know, in here securely and safely. And so this van came with seats already. We ripped a bunch of the seats out in the back and kind of built out an area back there for camping and hauling stuff. But uh, I, I was able to use all the factory seats with the factory seat belts and all the factory floor mounts. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, making my own seats for the kids. Um, and that was real important for to us, you know, because we have three kids and we want to be as safe as we can. So, and then that's another reason why we wanted to start with a, uh, with a uh, passenger van versus a cargo van. As you can see, we also have right up here, I need to fix this, but we have side curtain airbags back here for the kids. It's just an added safety feature um, for them. And then, you know, there's some other stuff here. You know, this, this van came with the floor already and you know, you can see I put in a different floor, but all I did was snap this in right on top of the uh, old carpet. And, um, you know, not only did it come with the floor, but it came with the air vents in the floor and also the air vents all around here you know so we didn't have to add that or build that in you know if this was a cargo van a lot of them don't have the air you know ducting back here they just have the driver and passenger um air vents so you know there's these were those were kind of the the main reasons why we decided to start with a uh passenger van versus a cargo van now, I know some people want the cargo van because it's just a blank slate and they can build out, you know, whatever they want. But uh, I just, I, we really had to think about the safety for the kids. And then again, the cost of adding windows and, you know, some of the other components. You know, we have all the, you can see all the sides all are all finished in here. I didn't have to do anything here. It did have a nice headliner that I ripped out because I wanted to be able to stand in here, which I can do now. Uh, but I still got to fix this. You know, you might be thinking like, well, he didn't gain a lot of room from ripping this out, but this was actually on spacers and the headliner came down like maybe like this far off of the ceiling. So, you know, we gained like two inches in here plus up here. So I still need to fix that, but, uh, 
you know, if I didn't rip that out, then your headliner would have been done too. And you wouldn't have had to mess with the ceiling or anything, you know, finishing the ceiling off for the camper. I mean, I know a lot of people want to insulate this, but you could take the factory headliner down, insulate it, and then put your factory headliner back up. So, anyways, y'all, that was, uh, those are the main reasons why we decided to, uh, you know, to do our build with a, uh, with a passenger van versus a cargo van. Hopefully I, uh, you know, gave you some ideas here to think about. Um, if you liked our video, I finally learned how to put a subscribe button. I think it's down in this corner. Maybe it's this one over here, but if you liked our video, we'd appreciate it if you uh, would consider subscribing to our channel. Till next time, guys, everybody take care.